hi lovelies welcome back once again here is Phoebe's kitchen and I believe you are doing great I am back once again and today I'm gonna share with you how to make this extremely delicious spice ripe plantain fritters or akakro you will love the recipe so please stay tuned to the end as always and be inspired to support your girl please don't forget to like share and comment on the video and I'll always appreciate it without further ado lovelies let's dive right into the video so here i've got my overripe plantains and next i've got my spring onion or scallions next my bell pepper next coriander seeds scotch bonnet pepper and my seasoned chili powder in the sachet and i'm going to use that inside of the scotch bonnet pepper okay so lovelies i'm all done i'll set them aside I show you my next ingredients and they are ginger and garlic. I've washed the plantains nicely so I'll go ahead and peel off their skins just like this. And as you can see this plantain is really overripe. So when making the akakuro or spice ripe plantain fritters, to get a particular texture you are looking for, there is a way to go about it. So please go nowhere if you are interested. And let me share with you how to achieve your preferred texture, okay? All done. So next, I'll transfer all of them into my food processor, just like this. Or you can also use your blender or your earthenware, locally called Apatoyoa or Asanka. Next, I'm adding my seasoned chili powder. This is very spicy and flavorful. Next, my bell peppers. Next, my spring onion, which you can even use your red onion or white onion. Next, my coriander seeds, now ginger and garlic. It's now time to blend until you get your preferred consistency, okay? You can go for a very smooth texture or you can leave some bits in it. So now we are all done. And I went for a smooth texture. So now in a bowl, I'm transferring everything just like this. Apart from the plantains, all these ingredients put together are the basic aromatics, which always takes our dishes to the next level. What makes this special is the seasoned chili powder. Okay, so next I'm adding my flour, and next I'm adding my prawns. I'll give it a stir until well combined. You can add any protein of your choice or you can even opt this part out. It's all by choice and preference, okay? Next, I'm adding more flour to get the texture I'm looking for. Because of the size and how my plantains are overripe, generally you could go for about 5 tablespoonful of flour and you will get an in-between texture, not too soft and not too hard. You can even make it 4 tablespoonful of flour to get a soft texture but I want mine to be a little bit harder so I added 7. For more flavor I'm adding my shrimp tablet and my homemade all purpose seasoning and again I will stir until well combined. And lovelies, remember to add salt to taste okay? So we are all done. Next in my deep frying pan I'm adding my cooking oil and then for flavor I'll add rosemary and then add my mixture just like this i'll continue to drop them in one after the other until the mixture is finished and also making sure that they do not overlap okay and i'm going to fry these fritters on a medium to high heat and not on a high heat or else they will burn and also not on a low heat because they might become oily okay now all my mixture is finished so I'll let them fry until ready, yeah? Two minutes later, I'm flipping them over and I'll do this over and over again until all the sides are really fried and are nice and golden. So now if you are observing closely, you notice that I'm perforating the fritters. This will help the inside also cook well, okay? To support your girl lovelies, please don't forget to like, don't forget to share for others to see, and don't forget to comment for me to know your thoughts about the recipe. Also, kindly help me recommend this channel to families and friends who may like my recipes. And hey, if it's your first time ever seeing my video, 
I would love to have you here. Kindly do your girl a favor by subscribing to this channel to enjoy more of my recipes. Don't forget to also smash on the bell button to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos. While sorted, please click on the all option in order not to miss any of my videos. Okay, so now I love this color. So I'm bringing them out of the oil. Ooh, very aromatic. Lovely. I hope you give this a try and thank me later. Even though I didn't add salt, but the salt contains in the shrimp tablet and also in the seasoning, chili powder has made everything so perfect for me. I love this and I'm really impressed with the outcome. So far so good. I'm all done showing you one of the ways that I make my spiced ripe plantain fritters or akekro and I hope you've been inspired. And you can always enjoy this on its own or you can even add your preferred sauce. Mmm, lovelies. Eating this together with the prawns was everything. And I love how subtle the aroma was and how flavorful it was. Now the inside is well cooked. As you can see, I love it. And the texture is always how I like my akakuro. Okay, so you can make it softer if you want. It's all by choice and preference. Lovelies, whenever you give this a try, don't forget to bring me the feedback by tagging your girl on Instagram or commenting down below my Facebook and YouTube videos. And here is another simple way that I enjoyed my akakuro. Very, very healthy and super tasty. This beans is oilless, but the goodness in it will amaze you. Yes, those of you who have seen my curry and beans video and have tried it will attest to it. And again, here is another way that I enjoyed my akakuro. And lovelies, so far so good. I hope you've been inspired. For more of my videos, please follow me on Instagram, like and follow my Facebook page. Follow me as well on TikTok and Twitter for more updates. Thanks for watching. Take care. Toodles. Peace out.